Hello everyone, welcome back to Techsum. Today we are going to play this amazing new game called Dying Adventure. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead. And as you can see, we are on the welcome page. This looks amazing and I think there will be two characters in this as you can see. One is in red, other one is in blue. So yeah, looks good. So we are just going to click on play. And okay, so for tour mode. And I'm gonna choose a blue one because I love blue. So I'm just going ahead and I'm just going to fast forward this thing because I know this will not be mattering that much to you. If in case you are playing this game ever, then yeah. Uh, make sure that, okay, so we are actually going to Bora Bora Island and yeah, so since I was saying this actually is a paid game which will cost you around $2.99 and all you need to do is you need to sh shoot all these balls. So in the latest blast from the past in the video game world, uh, Pang, a uh, world famous arcade game from the 80s. Uh, has been rewired into Pang Adventure. So as I was saying, this game is actually an old game. So from some something from 1980s. But yeah, they have rewired this game. And the new game is called Pang Adventures. And all you need to do is you need to shoot all these. So you'll be having a bigger ball, which will be dividing into two smaller balls, which again further will be dividing into two. So now you your goal is to finish all these balls. So the premise of the game is uh, two brothers travel around the world to stop aliens and bouncing balls from terrorizing the land. Why this mission has fallen uh, to these two brothers alone, we do not know. I ha I seriously don't have any idea because as you know, uh, there were two characters in the beginning and uh, one is red, one is blue. So these are the two brothers and it is their responsibility to take care of everything. I know these, these are like too small and giving them all uh, this huge responsibility something which is not making sense to me but yeah anyways just just joe just kidding so the game looks pretty awesome to me uh, because you'll be having like different uh, levels here and as you can see you'll be having like some uh, target score which you'll have to finish and then you'll be having three caps which you can gain after finishing every level so this is what you actually have to do so yeah so this looks good uh, so this game provides a variety of weapons as well as you can see uh, but the famous weapon in the arsenal is a grappling hook yeah so this the same thing which we have been using for all these levels and then uh, once you break any uh, all these blocks or maybe all these balls then you will be having some other things coming in yeah see so this is the one which actually is amazing so this is a grappling rope which is coming again and again and that will be like too fast so that you can okay what is this head thing for? Oh, do i need to shoot so yeah so we are moving to day 6 of day 15 because uh, so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to play all the day 15 uh, of bora bora that is like the first level so that you will be having better idea about what exactly things are like isn't it so all these crabs so what crabs so these crabs can actually help you in killing all these balls so what you can do is the moment you leave the ball and the ball touches the crab as you can see the crab will be dying for a second and then it will be reincarnated so yeah and this is our new power okay so this actually gives you uh the strength so that i i think uh, the moment any ball will be hitting you yeah so till then you actually will be alive so this actually is cool and yeah this is a new weapon which we got which can shoot all these bullets sort of a thing too fast which actually is very helpful because what you do is uh, the moment uh, it is dividing into two balls it, it becomes very difficult for you so all these crabs they actually do not kill you yes they do not kill you they actually help you in killing the balls which is quite awesome and make sure that you are using all these for your advantage because this will be something which will be awesome the simplicity of this concept essentially balloon keeping op uh, with firearms is possibly the game's greatest strength and as it allows you uh, or uh, allows a developer to expand upon the idea and introduce new hoops for you to jump through by the end of the tour mode in which the game's minimal story is based or is played out via a collection of levels taking place around the world you will need to think about the differing bubbles and their unique behaviors yes the moment you'll be going ahead you'll be having something which will be getting too hard for you what was this oh there was this fairy which actually gave me one lakh score points which was awesome so whenever whenever you see any new character which is happening or maybe anything new which is happening there make sure that you are collecting it all the fruits which you are collecting that will actually be giving you extra points which is awesome because that is what you actually have to get uh, get so that you can complete the level with the highest number of caps so which is good so i'm going to collect this the moment you have to collect all these weapons you actually have to shoot there and as you know this watermelon i actually won this watermelon okay 
so whenever you have something which is not in your reach wherever you cannot go you just need to shoot it to get it so it's cool yeah so to combat the threat of aliens and their circular weaponry you begin with a humble harpoon gun which launches towards the top of the screen popping the first bubble it comes into contact with it is not long however before you are given access to machine guns flame throwers shotguns and ninja stars to name a few all useful in certain situations for example in the scotland level you must deal with electrified bubbles which when shot with your harpoon send a swift lethal current down the line killing you if you fail to step out of the way so you need to take care that all these balls can actually kill you the moment they touch you you are gone yes you are seriously gone and one good thing is the sting which you get in the beginning is actually uh something which is infinite so it doesn't get over so you don't have to worry about like shooting a specific number of times but you definitely have specific time for each and every level the moment you go ahead so you have to take care so you have to finish the level on time but if in case you will not then you will be dying and then you will have to restart again so which is like okay it doesn't matter that much but yeah but so far i think that i am actually uh, being a uh, very good at this game because as you have seen i have not died even a single time and i am very honest i have not died even a single time and clearing all the levels with almost three hats so okay so you just have to be like a, a bit uh, i would say strategic in terms of uh, shooting all these because i know the moment you will be clicking some ball what should be the direction of that particular ball and if in case you are not able to judge it i think you will not be able to click uh, or maybe uh, finish this level on time so as you see we have 3 seconds more and i have to finish all this and i know the only part i'm uh, making this thing leave for is the one where i can shoot easily which is cool so uh, yeah so if that sounds too structured uh for your taste and there are a couple other modes in the form of score attack and panic mode so you can try the other one as well right now we are actually playing the story mode and i am again using the crafts to my advantage so i have to take care of each and everything so i am not leaving like uh, a lot of space for all these guys so that they will not be able to kill it so this actually looks pretty awesome game and pretty awesome time killer So Pang Adventures is a thoroughly retro arcade game that offers addictive bubble bursting fun in a modestly sized package. The gameplay is compelling enough to keep you playing for a few hours and as you know I have already played this for almost like 15 minutes. I have edited this so that I am not showing you the unnecessary things which is like in between but yeah this is cool. So you can play it like for a number of hours but whether it's try of modes provide much replay value in another matter. It's certainly worth a look. If you have an old school itch that needs scratching and fans of the original game will be pleased with just how faithful Pasta Games has been to that decade old formula. So that's what we have in this game. I totally recommend you to play this game. So this is what we have. We'll see you again. Take care.